So do you feel like you might be able to get a faster flow rate out of your filter, but you're just not sure if the filter will hold up? Well, the way to find that is through the pressure drop coefficient. We'll show you how to calculate it, so stick around. Hi, I'm Sam, and the amount of pressure dropped within your system affects energy expenses, the longevity of your media, and the amount of stress on your machinery. Finding the pressure drop coefficient can help tremendously with knowing their limits. But what exactly is a pressure drop coefficient, and how do I calculate it? WS Tyler has been a wire mesh provider for the filtration industry for decades, and we're here to help you get the most out of your filtration process. So in this video, we're going to go over the following. What pressure drop is, how pressure drop coefficient is calculated, and the takeaways pressure drop coefficient calculations provide. So, most filter systems have two sides, the input side and the discharge side. The input side contains the woven wire mesh, and it's where the unfiltered solution is projected through the filter. And the discharge side is the side where the filtrate is found. Pressure drop refers to the difference in pressure seen between the input and the discharge sides of your filter. And, when working with woven wire mesh, the pressure drop can be calculated based on the profile of the weave pattern. With these calculations, you can draw several conclusions about the mesh specifications you're interested in. The pressure drop coefficient of a filter medium can be calculated with the following equation. Now, there's several factors that are taken into consideration for the pressure drop coefficient, and in particular for woven wire mesh surface filters. Those factors include fluid properties like the process temperature, density, kinetic viscosity, flow properties like volumetric flow rate, flow area, maximum pressure drop, and particle properties like particle size or particle size distribution and particle cut size. And a good rule of thumb to validate your calculations is that the larger the pressure drop coefficient, the larger the pressure drop. A properly calculated pressure drop coefficient gives you insight into the permeability and geometric pore diameter of the woven wire mesh. This knowledge helps you implement a wire mesh filter cloth that's appropriate for your filtration operation. And having a lower pressure drop coefficient means there's a high flow rate. But on the other hand, if your pressure drop coefficient is high, then there's a low flow rate or an increased resistance in the filter mesh. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be an expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up to date with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Sam Badger and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.